picture yourself walking through the streets of Manhattan in New York, you grab your morning coffee, a little snack on the side, the texture's dense, chewy, usually smeared with cream cheese. Today, we're talking bagels. these bagels you can mix this in a food processor or stand mixer if you have one. However, you could also do this by hand for a bit of a workout. Add 420 grams of baker's or bread flour to the bowl, 8 grams or 2 teaspoons of instant or rapid rise yeast. Now add 50 grams or 2 tablespoons of malt syrup or malt extract to 255 grams of water and stir well so it's well combined. Turn on your food processor or mixer and add the water and malt mixture in a steady stream. Mix this for about 30 seconds and turn off your machine and let this rest for 10 minutes. This process is known as an autolyse and it helps in the gluten development, which is what we're after. Once it has rested for 10 minutes, add 15 grams or 2 teaspoons of salt and turn the food processor on medium to high for about 90 seconds. Remove the dough and knead by hand for about a minute. Divide the dough into 8 equal pieces. They should weigh about 100 grams each. Flatten each piece, fold in the corners and shape into a tight ball by rolling under your hand. Cover these with plastic wrap and let rest for 15 minutes. Now to shape our bagels, flatten a piece of dough with your hands. Then use a rolling pin to roll out until it's about 10 centimeters or five inches across. It's best to rotate the dough a few times so it keeps its shape. You don't want to use any flour to roll these out as the stickiness will help you here. Once you've rolled out the dough to the desired width, start at one end, grab the dough, stretch it a little, and roll it onto itself. Once you've finished and it's rolled into a tight roll, use your hands to roll this out until it's about 20 centimeters or nine inches. Place your hands on each side of the roll and then roll in opposite directions to create a twist. Now wrap the dough around your hand and pinch the ends together. With the ring of dough still wrapped around your hand, roll the dough on your bench to form a tight seal. If you want to add in flavour, you can do this once the dough has been flattened with the rolling pin. Here I'm adding in raisins and cinnamon. You can then roll the dough in the same way. Cover a tray that will fit in your fridge with cornmeal or polenta and place the bagels, making sure there's a space in between them. Cover that with plastic wrap and let sit on your bench for an hour. This will kickstart the proofing process. After an hour's rest, place the tray in the fridge for 24 hours or overnight. While we're waiting for our bagels in the fridge, we can prepare our toppings and the best topping is everything seasoning. In a bowl, add in two tablespoons of white sesame seeds, two tablespoons of dried onion flakes, two tablespoons of dried garlic flakes, two tablespoons of black sesame seeds, three tablespoons of poppy seeds, and four teaspoons of flaky salt. Something like this molten salt flakes will be perfect. Once these are all in the bowl, stir so they're mixed really well. The next day, Bring a large pot of water to a boil and add in 50 grams of sugar and one tablespoon of baking soda. Add the bagels to the water and boil for 20 seconds each side. Remove and place on a wire cooling rack placed inside a baking tray. If you want to add toppings like the everything seasoning we made earlier, do it now once they're still wet so it sticks. You can also add poppy seeds if that's your thing. 
Add a half a cup of boiling water to the bottom of the tray and place in a preheated oven set to 230 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees Fahrenheit. These will need to bake for 20 to 25 minutes, flipping them at the halfway mark. Take them out of the oven and marvel at the deliciousness you've created. Let these cool, slice and serve them up. You can serve these toasted with some butter or cream cheese or the classic New York style with a smear of cream cheese, sliced tomato, thinly sliced red onion, some capers, lox or cured salmon, which I have a recipe for which I've linked below or click the link in the top right corner of your screen. Fresh, delicious, homemade bagels. It's really worth the time it takes to make these. They're really not that hard. Serve it up in the classic New York way. A smear of cream cheese, thinly sliced lox, red onion, tomatoes and capers. Maybe just some flavoured cream cheese. You could even just toast these and put some butter on them. They're absolutely delicious. Let me know your favourite way how to eat bagels down in the comments below. Give the like button a tickle and subscribe if you want to see more. And... I'll see you in the next one.